<laughs> it's cracking. Oh, it's broke. <laughs> That's what's. That's the treasure chest. Oh, that it is. Oh, they wrapped it good. Does it feel heavy? Is there gold in there? Feel it. Yep, that is gold. That is gold. We got gold, guys. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Moose, for sending us these Treasure X Sunken Gold Toys treasures. And we're excited because we got the shark and we also got these bottles here that contain uh, hunters in. Well, let's go over them one at a time and then let's do the hunters first. Now you can see here, we got a bottle. And inside this, it's it's not grog, guys. It'd be cool if you could actually pull off the top. I would have been cool if you could pull it off. But then what's the point? Because you're gonna have to smash the bottle to open this up to get what's inside. In fact, let's go through it. So here's the front. And you can see it says Treasure X Sunken Gold. Up at the top, you can see where it says smash. And so you smash that open to get what's inside. And then on the side of it, it shows you the three steps. You smash open the bottle, get the creature out or the hunter, you save him, and then you get treasure. And then on the back, it says, will you find real gold dip treasure? And then it's got below that one in 18, not available in all areas. No, that's my fine print. So gosh, we gotta get 18 of these before we find one real gold treasure. Well, game on. Well, we got two here, but hey, this is just an introduction to what our appetite. Let's just turn it around. You got 10 levels of adventure fun. So if you go through that, one, it says to remove. Two, get the map. Ooh, you got a treasure map, a quest map. And then three, smash. Four, get the chest. Five, squid. And then six, you get to squeeze the squid. And then seven, save the hunter inside the squid. Then you take the treasure, you drop it into some water, and then the treasure starts to fizz. I think that's what it's gonna do. And then number 10, are you gonna get some common treasure or real gold dip treasure? And then on the side, we've got 12 hunters to collect. Oh guys, and don't forget the bottom here with all the fine print. And that fine print's pretty important, I mean, before you open it up, because it helps the parents to know when you get the kids this, what to expect. Yeah, warning, some figures contain color change finish. Whoa, color changing finish. So if you dip it in warm water, dip it in cold water, you get some different colors. Some characters, we gotta figure that out. To avoid scalding, oh, because of the color change, <laughs> Don't get like super hot boiling water. It says, do not use water above 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 Celsius. Caution, follow instructions fully when opening bottle and treasure. Keep ooze away from eyes. Ooze contains colors which may stain some fabrics or surfaces. Keep away from carpet, clothes, walls, and furniture for external use only. Do not eat any contents. Well, there you go, you know. When you get hungry, don't eat. Go find a snack. Do not use with sensitive or broken skin. Discontinue use if irritation occurs. Parental supervision required. Okay, parents, up to you, up to all of us to make sure that we're there with their kids and, you know, they don't get out of control or, like, get the ooze and start, you know, don't get in the eyes. Treasure contains fizzer. Supervise use of this product until the fizzer is fully dissolved. You know what that reminds me of? The first season. So, guys, remember the first season of Treasure X? We do. We got a whole case. Oh, it's cool. It's still in its original packing. We love Treasure X. It's our favorite. Give us an R. I just die. <laughs> you want to make a pirate? You have to walk the plank now. Go walk the plank, son. That's how these pirates learn their alphabet. A, B, C, and H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P, Q, R. Oh, very good. You remember this? I don't know if you remember from season one, but you actually had a treasure chest you had to dig through, and then you took the treasure. You didn't drop it in water, which this one you're going to do. It's going to be cool. We're going to have to get water. So with this one, if you remember, you actually got a chest after you dug through it to find it, and then you put the chest, you pull off the top, put it in water, and it was so cool. Okay, guys, guess what this is a Ziploc bag of? <laughs> All our little treasure chesties. Yes, we do hold on to some things. We got a big video coming soon. Stay tuned. It's going to be super cool. Perhaps it'll be something of the world's largest collection of... You fill in the blank. Now there's the treasure chest right here. You remember, you dug it out of here and then you open it up and it had some fizzy stuff. You dropped it in there. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is when you found the gold. Now, we got two of them. And if you look at both of them, one is, we got these little eyes. You can see the squids. You got a green squid and you got an orange squid. And then on the sides you have, it looks like a red arrow, it's pointing up. So maybe you can just, oh, I don't like digging with my fingers. Can you get the fingernails in there? It starts slicing through between the fingernails. So we gotta have like maybe a fork or something to no, cut I it open. I can do them. I can do those. Oh, uh, you wanna do it with your fingernails? Yeah, okay, which one should we open first? The orange one? I take this one. Well, hurry up, his buddy's getting lonely. 
you know, you're not just only saving the hunter, but you're saving the squid from a possible doom and just containing in a bottle. You know, they put, used to put messages in bottles, right? Now they put squids. Or maybe it was just grog that gone bad. <laughs> maybe in pirate battles, he used his molotovs, just pull up on the top and then cocktail molotov and then just put it in like a piece of cloth, light it and throw it on the other ships. I mean, he used cannons back then. Most on. See guys, look, you see the preparations that go down the sides? See, it's taken Jacob a little while, but you ought to be able to take it and go down the preparations. So may the fork be with you. We take the fork and we just go down the preparations and just tear. Ooh, don't want to tear the packaging. And maybe we'll go up underneath. See, look at that preparation right there, up with the fork. Oh, I think we did it. Yay! Whoa. Now you have tape on both sides here. So if you really want to save the packaging, you may want to get just a little knife and then just cut through. I got to cut a knife. And so I'm just gonna just slice the tape. There we go. So there's the entire, right? Get close-ups. Okay, there's that. Well, look at the bottle. <laughs> it's look. It's got carbuncles. Arr! Carbuncles. There's things at the bottom of the ships. When they go out to sea, they just attach to it, and they have to clean it off. And I don't know. Maybe it's some sort of coral. But that looks super cool. Here, hold that. Why go through the map? Arr! Feels weird on the bottom. Oh yeah. Hey, look. Look at this, guys. A green skull. Oh man. Now we had the Red Skull with Marvel's superheroes. Red Skull who fought Captain America. He was the German dude. You know, Hydra. That's what it was, it's Hydra. And look, oh my goodness. Is there something here, guys? They had the green skull and Hydra was the octopus with many tentacles into everybody's business. Oh man, kind of a spooky thing that they got going on here. Hey, we just took it another level of spookness. <laughs> so there you go. They got the skull, but he's got his more piratey thing going on than he has the Hydra for Marvel's uh, evil villain. And then you got the octopus. It's like uh, wrapped around the bottle. I mean, do you see that? That looks super cool. I mean, it's such a shame that we have to smash it. Well, we better go to the map first, right? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Look at the map. So you got two sides of the map. Let's see. So first of all, Goldie Ox. That's cool. Oh my gosh, they got some cool treasures. These are awesome. They actually have diver doubloons. No way. <laughs> this is so cool. Gold doubloons, Jake and Leverland Pirates. They actually had gold doubloons and now they have a diver doubloon. Oh, I got to show you guys this. This is just... Come on, Dad's got to have his A D A D moment. I mean, right now and what we're looking. Him. He's new. No way, <laughs> guys! You wouldn't believe this. What they have? What are their time? Okay, let's just do the front and the back. So here's the quest map on the front side. You can see where they have Goldie Ox, Goldie Ox, and the three bears. I I don't know how that fits in. He's actually carrying over to his nest to feed the little pterodactyls, the birdies. It's <laughs> like, that's kind of gruesome. But hey, you know, he doesn't like escargot, doesn't like caviar. He knows what the kids like. It looks like if you don't get the ultra rare gold dip treasure, then you get one of these other common treasures, I guess. Goldie Ox, we'll find out guys together. Oh, those are cool. I like those little creatures. And then you got the big octopus in the middle where he's just exploding, Arr, so angry. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Captain Hook, the early first Captain Hook that Disney did. That was so cool. Just that rock where he's got, you know, the skull. Okay, I mean, this is octopus, but this big skull. I mean, that's awesome looking with the lava boiling out. I mean, that's an element from Treasure X, fire versus ice. You got the fire in there. And then you got the blue creatures. There's the ice. Hey, we're on to you, Moose. You're getting all these mixed up with fire and ice. You got a collaboration of everything from all the different past ones. I mean, even the treasure. We're going to find that out in just a minute. I mean, that's, oh, they do have more past ones. This is so cool. So on the back here, so you got a total of four categories. You got the gold divers, the one hit plunders, the sea punks, and the bottom dwellers. So first of all, in the gold divers, you have one ultra rare water filled figure. And guess what? It looks like that water filled figure in the head, gold crown, also is something that they carried over from King's Gold Series 3. He's got water in the head. And then on the back, he's also got the squid. You know, Captain America fought uh, Hydra. Hail Hydra! And look, so you also have that on the bottle. Well, that's super cool, Moose. We like your integration. We like your style. Maybe you can see it more clearly here, the skull, which is part of the skull on the Hydra here. 
So if you get him, you're super cool. And he's actually got a crown on the top of his helmet there. And then you got the Excess, who's another gold diver. That's super cool that they brought him back from Series 3. And then you have Sir Octo. And then we got the next uh, category, the one-hit plunders. And out of the three, well, actually, it says ultra-rare snapping figures. That's plural, so all of them ought to be able to snap. They're all ultra-rare. And so you got DJ Frenzy, Grandmaster Splash, and ASAP Crocky. So now down below to the Sea Punks, you only have one ultra-rare color-changing figure, and that's Iggy Lagoon. The others are Johnny Rotten Crab and Sid Ficious. And then we go over to the uh, bottom dwellers, the last category, and you only get one ultra rare. It's a water squirter figure, and that's Gold Puff. And then you got Steel Eel and Bling Shady. Then the gold, you got the Diver Doubloons. That looks cool. So he looks like he's got a little helmet on. And then you got Punk Pesos. That's so punky. And then you got Deep Sea Stash. And then you got Plunder Pounds. Oh, those are cool. I love them. They look like almost like real gold coins, gold doubloons, guys. These are going to be the golds to get. Remember, one in 18. We're excited. It looks like there's a total of four golds that you can collect. We are so on to it, Jacob. Woo! <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to try to collect all the gold. Of the four gold doubloons you can collect, which one's your favorite? Um, which one's your favorite, Jacob? Mine is this one. Deep Sea Stash. Mine would be Plunder Pounds. He just looks so fun and spooky. They said not to do that. I'm showing you what not to do. Ow. <laughs> okay, bud. Give it a good whack on the table. Just be... It, it. <laughs> it's cracking. It, it broke. <laughs> That's, That's the treasure chest. Oh, that, it is. And here's the other. It's wrapped so good. Oh, they wrapped it good. Does it feel heavy? Is there gold in there? Feel it. Yep, that is gold. That is gold. We got gold, guys. Thanks for watching. You'll never know. We'll look at this later. I'll show you this later. Let's not focus on that treasure just now as hard as it is. And so, you know what this is? This is like that vinyl that you found in when you broke open King's Gold, their sarcophaguses, and it was made of, looked like wood. It's the same feel, same texture. Look at that, just break that, bud. Look at that. That's yep, just cool. It's just the same. Yeah, it feels all smooth and, you know, so cool. So that's why you want to make sure, oh, okay, then pull out the squid, Mr. Squid head. You still got the bottle, that looks cool. I mean, oh, and look, you actually have the cork up at the top and it's got a hole in it and this came out that, you know, this is to hang up in the stores, but if you want to hang it up in your room, so you have that decoration of that pirate plundering look. Oh, you can get that back in, just like hang it from the ceiling, R. We got a warning sign. Oh yeah, you got more warnings. Warning plastic bag can be dangerous uh, to avoid you know, danger of suffocation. Keep this plastic bag away from, uh, okay, this bag is not a toy. Oh, this is so oozy. Oh, look guys, it's the Octi Gujitsu, Gujitsu's. Oh, you can feel something in there. Yeah, it's just all nice and squishy. Oh, what is that? Oh, it looks like it's sealed. Oh, we better get a paper plate because remember the ooze inside? First, take a look at Mr. Squidhead before we crack him open. Oh, there we go. Ugh. <laughs> he doesn't even stand. He's got his shades on so we can see at night in the deep dark water. Yeah. We're supposed to pop them. Oh, they introduced now their uh, Treasure X eggs, alien eggs. We have to squeeze to pop. Oh, is this gonna be loud, bud? Oh, did you hear that? That's gross. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, give me a paper plate. Cause this, this, this white table, it will take the stain. Jacob, do you wanna try to pop yep. it? Oh man, just. Keep pointing it towards camera mom. Let her have all the ink. Let her get inked. Oh! oh. <laughs> her. <laughs> who did we get? We got black ink. I don't know who this is. Oh, who is that? Look at his head. Oh, he's got blue uh, purple headphones. The sea punk Sid Ficious. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, we need water. Remember guys, this stuff will stick to you, but if you have water on your fingers, it'll slide right off. Look at that. See? Slides right off. Ew. Parted. <laughs> We're getting some really horrific sounds with the squeezes here. Oh, oh, I got a boogie on my finger and I can't get it off. Oh, I just got it off. Where'd it go? <laughs> it's gonna stain our clothes. Ah. Parents, don't let your kids do this at home. This is for That's people who are trying though. to be professional, but just can't get it right. <laughs> oh, he's got his club. His carmargin. Carmargin. How do you say that?
Oh, you're still getting more ooze. Here, get some water. Oh, oh here. Oh, <laughs> get off. <laughs> We're Dip your fingers in the water, bud. Uh, I need a towel. No, you don't. Brave it out. The squid ink isn't all that. Somebody give me a towel. Oh, God. It looks like squid snot, squid ink, squid poopsies. And there you go. So you connect his body together. Oh, he's got squid ink coming out of him. And then he's got to hold his weapon. And then, ah, oh, okay, so here we go. What do you think? He looks cool with his headphones on. Well, he's a punk. He's got to have some punk music. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Caleb's joining us. He thought this was super cool. So what we want to do is you want to have Jacob open up the treasure. Now, how are we going to open it? Can I just see tape? How are you going to open it? They're hard to get open. You may want to use a fork. Okay, so he's using the fork. May the fork be with you. We'll get that out. Someday soon, bud. Someday soon. It's really quiet. We'll have music in the background. Oh my guys, I got braces. I got braces. Oh yeah, Caleb's got braces. He's gonna straighten out his choppers. <laughs> so that's super cool. And getting Caleb um, ready and, oh, you got it out. Okay, you guys want to take a look at that? And it's got a, on one side, it's got uh, octopus. And then it looks like you got something in there. So uh, it looks like it's got some tab here, like a piece of like, are we supposed to pull that out? Yeah, okay, well, we'll put it in the water then. <laughs> no, if, it, if she sinks, She's not a witch and she drowns. That's what they did back in the 18... Okay, if it floats, then it's not gold because gold's heavy and it'll sink to the bottom. So there's a little bit of tab here. Maybe that's what dissolves to pop it open or should we just pull it? Should we just drop it in the water? Okay, Jacob, you do what you feel is best. Oh, and then the top, there's an X too. Okay, drop it in the water. Okay, drop it. Oh, look, it's, something's happening. Oh, there's fizz. We got the... Yeah, look, at the fizz is coming out. Look at that. That's cool. Hurry. Oh, it just floated up. That was awesome. And look who you got. You didn't get like a treasure. See, this is what you got me the last video. You spilled water all over me. Look, you got the crab. So who's him? He is Gold Claw. Well, you know what? The only thing I don't see on him is any gold. So I don't think he can be Gold Claw. Give me Look, we're having crab legs tonight. Gold Claws. Oh, that'll hurt the choppers. Look at that. That's a cool treasure chest. Well, we're gonna add that to our collection, the big bag that you saw. Which one do you think is cooler? Maybe we'll have a big, huge treasure hunt find where we'll put like hundreds of these all over the grass and the boys have to go through and uh, get the right one. If they don't get it, then they have to do uh, schoolwork for another hour. What? <laughs> Ooh, that's only fair if you find the gold and you get a release from schoolwork. You get a hall pass. You can walk right by the class and not have to do your schoolwork. Okay, we're ready for now bottle two, and Caleb is going to open that for us, right, Mr. K? Yeah. Okay, we got the squid, so here's our orange squid. That's a cool squid, actually. Okay, so squid's a little bit more skinnier. Um, octopus is a little bit fatter, chunkier. They've had more to eat. So, okay, we got a squid. That is a cool-looking squid. Mm -hmm. It's got a shades. Okay, go ahead and open yours up, Mr. K. Okay, so... You got to take off the plastic. See where the arrow's at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want a fork? Oh, you just make things so much funnier. A fork? Really? That's funny? The Star Wars fan would not like to hear that. May the fork be with you. Always. Okay, I might need that, actually. But you know what might be easy? You see see the perforations down at the bottom? If you just go ahead and stick it up, the fork through that, and start turning that way. So you see the perforations? Stick it up through there. Or I could just... With your finger? Oh, that's even better. His fingernails work. Wow. Now we're moving, bud. There we go. Okay, Mr. K. I just had to use the knife to get this off because I try to keep uh, this for reference as it said in the instructions. So we did just interrogate. Oh, another map. So we got our maps. We already know what the maps look like, right, guys? So Caleb, take a look at the map because you just, you know, he was sleeping this morning. So look, you got your gold doubloons here. And then on the back, you have them all listed here. Then you got, so which gold do you want? Do you want all four? Which one's your favorite one? Hmm. I, I like this guy with the shades. The shades, and that one is deep sea stash. So what you have to do, bud, is you have to take this and smash this part on your noodle. 
Okay, look out. He's going to smash. Get, get back. Get back. Oh, Hit it. <laughs> yeah, it's a grenade. Take this, you squids. <laughs> okay, give it a good smash. When you smash it, hold it more down here and then try to smash it like that. It's like we're christening the table. Spawn voyage. Oh, it's cracking. Oh, it's a treasure. Now, does it feel heavy like there's gold in there? Yeah, it actually does. It's not gold. That I thought was green, but now that's blue. Yeah. That is cool Different looking. colors. But in these green bottles, it's a trick. It's a mind-changing color. Look at his head, it's like glossy. So at the top, they just, it's a cork. So they squirted the goo in and they sealed it with a little bit of rubber cement, maybe. Yeah, it little smells like rubber cement a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, bud, you gotta squeeze them. Remember the eggs, Treasure X eggs? You gotta squeeze them and pop them out like this. Get camera mom. Get her a good ink Three, squeeze. Two, one. Let it pop, bud. Go for the pop. I got my safety glasses on in case if it squirts in the eye. Jeez, this is not fun. You're making some pretty weird sounds there, bud. That's an eye. Ew. Hmm. Let me take a wooksies. Oh. It's an eye. <laughs> He's a fork. Ew, what is that? Is it another uh, sea punk? Yeah, it looks like we got Johnny Rotten Crab. <laughs> Johnny Rotten Crab. <laughs> he's rotten to the core. Yeah, he's got those big bulgy, bulgy eyes. This is so cool. I have never seen a Treasure X this cool before. Here, dip your fingers in water so it doesn't stick to your hands. And he's got his claw. So yeah, we got Johnny Rotten Crab. Johnny Rotten Crab, Johnny Rotten Crab. Now look, so look at his claws. He's got his crab-like claws. That's cool, actually. Boy, don't put him near, anywhere near the fish market stores. They'll grab his hands going, mmm, crab hands. Well, not crab legs. Wait, his... Oh, yeah, his, his little crab thing. This is how he pries open cans of tuna fish when he's hungry. Look at that. These are awesome. These are like my favorite treasurettes out of all of them. Except season one, that's my favorite. This is my second favorite. Season one was totally cool. We really loved that one. Now that we got both, let's go ahead and open this up and drop it in. Here's the hoping for gold. Woo! Johnny Rotten Crab. I'm a rotten crab with no face. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, we gotta make a rap song, Dad. Actually, we can't do that without a one hit plunders. Out. Yeah, watch this. This is super cool. Three. Two. Two. One. Drop it. Oh, that is so cool. Watch this. Now the acid's spilling out. All the acid's spilling out. This reminds me of those fish tanks where they have the treasure things that open and close. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Look. Oh, this has been a very crabby uh, selection from Moose. Oh, what do we do wrong to be <laughs> so crabby? So we got our second so gold crab. Cool. That's awesome, awesome guys. Super cool. Thank you, Moose, for sending us this. This is awesome. We think this is going to be not a one-hit plunder. And you know what would be cool if this was disappearing ink? Hang, Mom! Oh, no, this does not disappear. Parents, do not let your kids put this. We're using paper plates because this will stain. Okay, guys, so now we're moving on to our shark's treasure. Woo! We got the big bottle here. Now, this one you don't want to knock over your noodle. Well, I don't know. Let's take a look. So looking at the bottle, well, oh, cool. You can see up at the top of the bottle, you got the skull. I mean, that just reminds me of Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I mean, just where you're going, before you go down that big, huge hill, the water, you see the little uh, skull and crossbones up there. And Davy Jones waiting for them. Any case, that's cool. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, you got the cork here, kind of quirky. No, you can't pull off the top. I thought you could, but it would have been cool if you could have. So. On the front, as you can see right here, it says up at the top where you find real gold dip treasure. And there's one in eight chance. And then you can see it's for ages five and older. And then over to the side, you've got the rescue. So this is to oversimplify. You're gonna open the shark's yapper, his mouth. You're gonna pull out and rescue the exclusive hunter and then turn him over on his belly. You're gonna slice it through to dissect and pull out some treasures. And then he gets to ride the shark. Now, doesn't that remind you of this guy right here from Treasure X, the aliens, where you get to uh, dissect the beast, the ultimate dissection. Cause there you go. There's a picture down at the bottom where you just, you know, slice open his belly and then he gets to ride him. Had a lot of fun with that. That's pretty cool. So, hey, this time it's a shark. Yeehaw! Giddy up, cowboy. Up at the top, 16 levels of adventure fun. And then let's go to the back. 
to actually see the different 16 levels of adventure fun. So first you wanna unwrap and then two, get the map. Three, you wanna crack open the bottle. Four, get the shark out. Five, save the exclusive hunter from the shark. Then six, dissect them. Seven, get the guts out. And then third, slice open the gut bag. Nine, get the loot out of the gut bag. And then 10, you wanna attack. So 11, ride. Then 12, shoot. Then 13, you wanna get some water out and drop the treasure into the water. And then 15, are you gonna get some sort of vermin or are you gonna get the a gold the balloon and then 16 you can go ahead and display it all that's awesome and don't forget at the bottom you got your fine print so it tells you a little bit more about what's going on in the fine print it says warning only use the tool provided to dissect the shark do not use knife or scissors do not aim projectiles at eyes or face do not eat contents of this package guys this isn't candy although it'd be super sweet if one of these treasure X's had something you'd had to not open it you know a piece of candy to get to the treasure inside and not break a tooth and then you have to have a gold feeling that's not the way we get gold and store oozed in sealed container you know if you got a ziploc bag that might work and the sealed container is not included to prolong usable life please retain packaging details for future reference colors and contents may vary okay guys so let's go ahead and tear this open so at the bottom you got preparations also you have this red arrow that says hey tear along the dotted lines so if we just grab our finger and just tear oh tearing open the package but hey a fork a fork works too cool and then this just comes right off. There you go. Sweet. Guys, this may be premature, but this looks so fun and cool, especially from the hunters. We're gonna go ahead and approve this with an Adventure Fun seal of approval. Now it has the Adventure Fun seal of approval sticker. Woo! probably something we ought to do after we open it but you know this has just been so cool we just thought we'd just throw our uh, logo on there and say adventure fun approved because it's adventurous and fun now it would get two stickers if we found gold we'll soon find out okay so a couple things this thing just comes right oh look at that so you see those little uh extensions there from the bottle here they fit right to the hole and then look at that oh that is so cool and this just looks like a cool holder. I mean, look at the details of, it's supposed to be wood, but it's plastic. And it slides right into there. So, you know, if you actually fit extensions here into those holes, uh, it's just cool. It's just got a great fit. And I just love the designs of this. Hmm, if I didn't know any better, it kind of looks like a T-A-X. Is it supposed to be T for treasure and X? Get rid of the A, Moose. We don't want tax on our treasure. Treasure X, uh, it just looked like an A to me. I mean, it's supposed to be fancy calligraphy or something, but it just, oh, that A. And the way that the lines go through it, it looks like there's a tax on this. Well, not on my gold. So cool, so we got our cutter. Let's pull that out first. Oh, that's so cool. And it, look, it's got like a little like harpoon hook that just, once you hook it in and it's in, you grab it, just pulls them right out of the water. And it's got, you know, it's not, sharp it's kind of fun oh this is cool it's got a little x there i like it and then we pull out our map we'll put that to the side i love that that is super cool let's just take a look at our map shall we okay guys so here's the map you got a front side and a back side on the front side you got a pretty picture of an octopus just boiling mad <laughs> At <laughs> what? Because he wants all the gold. He doesn't want you to take his gold, so he's got his tentacles around it. Of course, you can have the creatures. They're just roaming the island, but don't take his gold. Now, all these golds here, they're the same that we found in, well, over here in the Hunters. You got the Divers Doubloons. You got the Deep Sea Stash, the Plunder Pounds, and Punk Pesos. And you know that each of these golds is tied to a category. I didn't go over this, but earlier on, I just found out with these hunters. So if you want to get the diver doubloons, guess which category it goes to? It goes to the gold divers. Because if you look at the divers doubloons right up here, he's got a helmet on, doesn't he? Like he's diving. And that makes sense because you got the category for the divers and the ultra rare, which is gold crown, he's got a helmet on. So there you go. So anytime you open up one of these guys, you're either going to get the diver doubloon, the gold hopefully you get, or you're going to get the corresponding Bonding, well, Goldie Ox. <laughs> I just love that. You guys did so funny on this, Moose. And so if you open up uh, one of these other categories, then you'll get the other ones. But with this one, with this one, you're going to get the same gold coins. I guess you're just going to get any one of those four characters as well. Now, on the other side, let's go over that. 
So first you have the instructions up at the top that we just went through. And then down below you got the four gold coins and then you have the four uh, vermin that are available. And notice there's nothing else there. And when it says an exclusive diver that comes with this, when we crack it open, you don't get different figures. You just get one figure that comes with this guy here. So if one in eight contains treasure and you get one of the four, like the diver doubloons, um, you have to buy another eight to get the other one, deep sea stash. Or maybe you're just lucky. Maybe they just got them all mixed up and there's like three out of eight that actually have gold in it. Those are the odds. How odd. So to get this open, the first step is, you can see up at the top, you've got a number one right there. So it says to take your knife, stick it in there, and then just twist and turn. So there's the hole right there, guys. My knife's in there. And then you just, oh, there you go. It broke open. And then, oh yeah. And you slide them right out. I mean, guys, think about it. Wouldn't it be just cooler if you just went like that? Oh. We're showing you what not to do. It hurts to do this. Ow. That's really gonna leave a mark. Okay, and we got his top and then, oh, look at that. Cool, he got his trident. And we're not talking about gum. Look at that, oh, his poker. So look at the shark, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see he's got a gold, there's your gold right there in his chopper. And he's got a nose ring right there to kind of control him, you know, because your nose, you know, you can go. And so there's like step number two, what you need to do. We'll go over in that in just a minute. And when we're done with step number two, then we'll go down to the bottom. Look, it looks like a real fishy silver belly. I mean, it just feels smooth. And then there's number three to cut open here or to pry it open and then get the guts. And some other things I found out here and let me know, oh, I just found something else now. <laughs> so camera mom and I were looking for different secret hidden messages on here like we found over here, like tax. Okay, Moose may disagree with me, but I see the A there, I see it. Like we found the gold skull right here. And then we found uh, also there's an X right here. And then also we found a dollar sign right there and then we found mickey mouse no i'm kidding you know how you go to disneyland you find mickey mouse everywhere hey you find the hidden mickey mouse and i'm just looking at it from the top view and guess what i found down here a face a monster face right here do you see his eyes right there and his teeth can you guys see that okay just stare hard enough or long enough and you'll see it but it looks like a fish gone wild mad he's got his own tattoos yeah, hey guys, take a look in the back, see if you find any other patterns or something interesting like the hidden code or something. So this is step number two. So you gotta play with this. Oh, you push it down and he talks to you. You know, I just had some lunch and uh, boy, he's coming up. <laughs> so you gotta save him. Oh, you gotta get him out from his teeth. That's kind of hard. Oh man, look at that. Subscribe to Adventure Fun. I've been Adventure Fun approved. <laughs> and look at this guy. Oh, he's cool. He's exclusive, that's for sure. Oh, his head moves. Does it actually come off? Yeah, okay, it does. Okay, I'm just look at it with me. I mean, he's got his gold armor, his hat. So I don't know if you can see a little nose, maybe some eyes there. Like it's part of the shark with the teeth coming down. That's cool. I suspect, oh, his trident, right. Trident, sir. Cool. And then now we go to number three. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop this open the belly. We're just gonna cut it, aren't we? Just go from top to bottom, right? Okay, so poke it and keep slicing. Maybe I'll start at the bottom here. Oh, there you go, we'll start at the bottom. Less resistance. Okay, let's try to pry them open here. Oh, there's his gut sack. Um, it's cool. You know, they have holes up here that you could probably just cut the outside and cut the whole gut out. But with this, you know, at least it's like a storage package because it seals back up. So I'm just going to see if I can just get the hunter out without cutting open the whole belly. Wish me luck. It's pretty tough. Oh, cool. <laughs> the sack looks cool. Okay, you got... No. Hello, hello, hello. I mean, it's very uh, large in there. Look at that. That's a lot of empty space, guys. You can go ahead and hide your snacks in here. It looks pretty clean, and you know, if uh, nobody knows uh, about your secret compartment. 
but man, that's just fun. <laughs> Okay guys, paper plate, because when it comes to this ooze, it can stain things. In fact, there's a warning here, parents, for you to avoid danger of suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies, children, you know, just hopefully common sense things that you just wouldn't let kids play with little things. So just go ahead and pinch and tear. Oh, hey, it was not black squid ink ooze, it's blue ooze. It's like snotty water, it's snotty. Remember, get your fingers wet and it won't stick to you. Um, it'd be cool if we got the gold in here. Okay, so there's our treasure chest. We'll take care of that in just a minute. And then, okay, oh look, we got the handlebars to ride our tricycle. No, to actually ride the shark. It looks like handlebars, I could be wrong. Okay, what is this? A bazooka. Wow, this stuff is really sticky. It's super cool, I mean, just look at that slime. It's really blue. It's shiny. Yeah. Okay, so then we got this that's supposed to go on the side of the shark here. We'll figure that out in just a minute. And what's that for? And then we got, oh, what is this? Yeah, this looks like a, a saddle or a harness of some sort. Oh, so look, I guess his feet go in here so he can actually ride on top. Okay, so I guess the first thing to do is just to put on his saddle. And we're going to put the saddle in between his two fins here. So with the harness there, you see the small part right here goes to the small fin and the big part because the big fin has to go around like that. So I assume it might be better to go from the tail up to try to get that over his head wouldn't be fun. And let's put that right over there. Kind of slide it in. Okay, that looks fabulous, darlings. Okay, next, it wants us to take this doohickey and to put it in the hole there. It still has ooze in it. Ah, just a, ugh. I just don't want the ooze in there. Just Okay, let me take his trident, because this is where it goes. Oh, there you go. I just poke, uh, get the extra ooze out. I was trying to blow in it, and it's like, get my mouth. Ugh, don't do this. So let's go ahead and just put that on there. Okay, so these are the handlebars. So the fin here's got a groove that you can just put the handlebars into. There, that snaps into place. And then this is supposed to hold the trident, although he could hold the trident, it'd look cool. And then you just lock it in there, then when you wanna shoot it, you can actually probably just pop it with your finger now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we finally got it to work. And look what we got back for dinner tonight. Yay! So then he's like, let's ride. Oh, that's good though. We did good. Well, he can't ride home. Get out of the way. You're in the way. Taxi driver. There we go. We bring meat for the family. Hey, it's rude to talk with your mouth open. I mean, it's rude to talk with your mouth full. That's just cool. So he shoots him with the, with the pitchfork. <laughs> we call it a trident. Guys, this is a real cool shark. Really love it. Love the character. Put in the comments if you're looking to collect all four of those. I'll call them all gold doubloons because that's what they look like, even though one says diver doubloon. And I love the fact you could just like grab that. That's so cool. All right. Ah, boop. Now let's see if we can pick him up. Ah! <laughs> He's got a good jaw structure there. I mean, that's just super cool. So let's go ahead and open up our treasure to see if we actually have a gold doubloon, diver doubloon, or any one of the four golds. So let's get our trusty fork. Oh, the way they wrap this stuff. Where's the little piece of tape that I can just simply cut and it opens up everything? Oh, maybe that was it. Well, there's the first layer. <laughs> There we go. And you can tell if you got gold just by holding it up to the light to shake it around. And if you hear rubbery things, it's usually a vermin. But let's see what actually we got here. So guys, look, it's the exact same treasure chest as the other ones from the hunters. Everything's the same. Uh, you can usually tell if it's heavy enough that it's gold, but here we go. Three, two, one. I love how it bubbles and then it just pops open as soon as it dissolves the fizzy, which it's not doing. Oh, let's shake it. Dissolve. It's starting to pop open a little bit, barely. Oh. oh, this is painful to watch, guys. This is so painful. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. We got another crab. I mean, we're just crabbing out, guys. He's yellow compared, he's a yellow belly, compared to our blue one. On the picture here, for this, the shark, it shows them all in blue, right? The front 
and well the back and then here's the front so wow you actually get a different color i wonder you know if we got another shark if it have a different look i'm not looking for these guys here i want the gold so i'm not really saying how many different colors do we have <laughs> it's like i don't want to go through all that just to, to know that but if you do see different colors and stuff let me know otherwise i assume for the shark it's exclusive yellow for, uh, for the hunters it's exclusive blue and then we just need to find all the gold so and as captain jack sparrow would say you got to like and subscribe you see because if you don't do it you know then you won't be able to get the latest on the coolest stuff savvy Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.